and Laura Heigl with Century 21 Sheets, your key to the finest homes. Today, I'm in downtown Zionsville on our charming main street in the village, and I've got Serenity Tea in front of me where they have wonderful teas and English scones and things like that, and the Brick Street Inn is back behind me. Uh, fantastic place to stay, good meals, darling little restaurants, unique spots up and down the street, great shops. So if you haven't been to Zionsville, come take a look. But today, I want to talk to millennials specifically, and I want to talk about home buying because that's a lot of what I do. One of the things that the experts are showing is that millennials are starting later to be home owners than previous generations and the baby boomers and the Gen Xs. And what we're finding is it is going to impact wealth accumulation over the course of lifetime. And that sounds like something really technical, but it's not. Here's what that means. When you are no longer a millennial or when you're old, let's put it that way, like me, you will not have as much money because you did not start earlier as a homeowner. So I'm gonna give you some really good reasons why you need to buy home in 2019. So the first thing is, is a house is a forced savings account. What do I mean by that? When you make that payment and it goes in, you're paying interest, but you're also building into principal. So at some point you have a large sum of money in there. Fast forward lots of years, that could be a down payment on another house. It could simply be cash. It could be lots of things in your future. So a mortgage and being a homeowner is a forced savings plan. That's point number one. Number two, it helps with taxes. Do you like to pay taxes? Most of us don't. We have to though, right? It's a necessary evil, we do it. But being able to save some taxes is a great thing. Right now, in today's world, we can deduct our mortgage interest. I'm not promising you what tomorrow or next year looks like and our government definitely doesn't consult me, but I'm going to tell you when you go to do your taxes, it's a really nice thing to take that mortgage interest off. Point three, managed fixed cost. When you have that mortgage payment, it includes your taxes, your insurance, HOA, that is what it costs to live there. If you have an apartment lease, a house lease, very likely the next year you're going to see them raise your rent. And if you move, you may pay more rent. So you can project when you get a mortgage what your payment looks like for however many years that you're in that house. Point number four, and this one I think is really important. There is no other investment that you can make, and you should be making other investments, by the way, but there's no other investment that you can make that you're allowed to live in. And you're going to find over the course of time, you end up with more money than your friends who stay in their apartments. So I'm having lots of conversations with millennial buyers right now, some here in Indianapolis, one in Atlanta, who's my child, and it's really fun to get to help them start with great foundation, great footing, finding the right home in their budget. There are lots of things to look for. So when you're ready to be smart with your money and you're ready to buy a house, I'd love to have a sit down conversation, why you should be working with me to buy a home, start that part of your financial life so that when you are my age, you look back, you've done really well. Thanks for watching today. I'm Laura Heigl, your key to the finest homes.